Hi, I'm Shazrin Adila, and we are going to learn about an aquatic plant called Rikia flutens through this video. Firstly, we are going to learn about the plant classification. Rikia flutens, classified under Kingdom Plantae, Phylum Hepaticophyta, Subphylum Hepaticae, Class Hepaticopsida, Subclass Marchantiae, Order Marchantialis, in the family Rikiaceae, genus Rikia, and the species name is Rikia flutens. Rikia flutens, also known as crystal wort, is a floating plant that can be found all around the world. It belongs to the Rikiaceae family and was made popular by the famous Japanese aquascaper Takashi Amano. Although it had already been previously discovered and catalogued by Linnaeus in 1753, Takashi was the first to keep it submerged in one of his tanks. There are actually four different varieties of this species that originate from Thailand, Singapore, Europe and Japan. However, only this one that comes from Japan can truthfully submerge. Rikia plutens will usually grow into thick clumps of sharp vivid green threads. These threads appear to be clumped together and will grow into a ball-like shape if it is not trimmed. Much like moss, crystal wood does not have a true root structure, but it still can anchor itself to other surfaces over time. To keep it away from floating, many cultivators will tie the plant down using a fishing line or a thin thread. After about a week or two, the new growth will hold the plant down on its own. Crystal wood is native to all of Asia, Africa and the Americas. It can now be found all around the world, mostly due to its ability to tolerate an array of different environmental conditions. It is most commonly found floating around in ponds and slow-moving streams. The average temperature in this native habitat will range anywhere from 59 to 86 degree, degree Fahrenheit. Rikia plutens is very easy to cultivate. First of all, tear off a small piece of Rikia plutens and place on a piece of stone or plastic nut as attachment medium. Next, wrap Rikia plutens line around the plant and attachment medium and then tie into a knot. After that, trim off any excess Rikia plutens line and lastly, place it into the aquarium laying on the substrate. You will see it growing after a week or two. To see it more clearly, let's watch the video.